Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's take a look at a pedigree chart, which is basically a chart of a family history or family tree. And many times it will track a disease or a trait through this family history. Let's first take a look at the symbols and lines and see what they tell you. A circle represents a female. A square represents a male. If a person has the trait or disease, it will be shaded in. If it's not shaded in, it does not have trait or disease. In generation one, this line between the female and the male is called a marriage line, which is basically just tells you they reproduce. The vertical line is called the line of descent and tells you that this uh, group, this couple, reproduced and had offspring. The horizontal line is called the sibling line and tells you the children from the generation above. Okay, let's take a look at this one and see if we can't figure out if it's dominant or recessive. Notice that the uh, couple in generation one, they have a female and a male. Female does not have the trait or disease, the male does. So since neither parent has the trait or disease, then it would have to be recessive. Because in order to pass on, if it was dominant, in order to pass on the trait, one of them would have to have the dominant allele. And since neither one of them do, um, so they would have to be heterozygous. So then the female from their generation one to generation two could be heterozygous, big E, little e. Then the son or the male in generation two, would be little e, little e. Therefore, since it's a recessive trait, has the trait. Now, let's take a look at um, his partner, and what would she need to be? Well, since their offspring does not have the trait or disease, that would mean that, that since it's recessive, their offspring would have to have at least one dominant uh, allele, and since the male we know is little e, little e, the female would need to be big E, little e. I'll fill in the rest of the chart. And let me point out one other thing. The two circles in generation three, those are twins. Here's the chart filled out. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.